So where is it that the Simpsons and pop culture get this idea that radioactive waste is this green glowy goo? Oh, I'm pretty sure that this here is the culprit. Or all of these things here. Now this is a good example of what's called radioluminescence. And it's basically where you have light being emitted in the visible spectrum being caused by radiation. Some common examples of radioluminescence out there that we see every day are radium dial clocks, there's tritium items such as tritium exit signs, tritium dialed watches, or tritium gun sights. So radioluminescence is actually a very broad topic. It not only means radium and tritium dialed things, it's also referring to things like shrink off radiation that comes from nuclear reactors and fusion reactions. There's scintillation counters that are used to detect radiation. There's also thermoluminescent and optically stimulated luminescent dosimeters used to track one's dose of radiation. But for this video, we'll go ahead and just narrow it down to just one topic and talk about green glowy things such as this clock or tritium dialed things. And let's go ahead and talk about how the heck does this sort of radioluminescence actually work? So radioluminescence for products like these works in a very similar way to green glowy uranium glass. But instead of having UV lights that are interacting with the glass, it's actually the radiation itself coming out of the radium or tritium interacting with other materials. So the radium or tritium itself is not actually what's causing that green glow to happen. What has to happen is that radiation from the tritium or radium needs to interact with a thing called a phosphor. A phosphor is a chemical material that when radiation interacts with it, it glows that green glow and you can actually change the chemistry of it to make it change color. But what actually causes that green glow to happen? Well, this right here is the electron that's in that chemical material. Radiation, in the case of radium and tritium, it's going to be beta radiation, comes in, hits that electron. That electron then excites to a higher energy state. And one of the things I talked about when I was talking about the green glowy glass is when that electron then decays down to a lower energy, it has to get rid of that energy somehow. And what it does is it emits another photon. What's interesting with the radium dial clocks is because that phosphor material is kind of old, it doesn't really glow on its own anymore. And I have to use this UV light to simulate it. And as I showed in the beginning of this video, once you remove that UV light, the green glowy kind of lingers for a while. This is because that electron that was in that phosphor material, once it was excited, because of the chemistry of that phosphor, it tends to stay in that higher energy state until it finally decays away. This is different than the green glowy glass, which tends to immediately go away once you turn off the UV light. And this results in that exponential decay in the green glow. So again, radioactive waste does not glow green, but I'm pretty sure that we've narrowed down kind of where that myth came from. 